Greetings and welcome fellow Waxers to the next episode of Tyranny. So, we are on the hunt for Elia now. Let's get on our way. I haven't seen any kind of encumberment factor in this game yet. So I'm really hoping there is none. Maybe he just complained that his inventory was full. And of course, referring to the barrack here. Let's get to it. Okay, was there more here? No. Okay. Up the hill. Probably the trap. Ah, here we go. Here is Elia. Ah, he's facing. She's facing. She's saying, Jacobus. Elia. The captain shouts to her remaining troops. We can take these ironclads. If they're as dense and, and clueless as their archon, they should fall like splintered masts. Catching sight of you, Elia calls out to her soldiers once more. Reinforcements approaching. Good to see you here, Fate Binder. Time to cleanse rust canyons of the unbroken taint. They won't leave these canyons alive. My men are ready to die, and we're only too happy to take down as many of you as possible. Her lips pressed together in a determined smile. I have a spear destined for your right eye whenever you feel like embracing the void. So, should we attack? Or should we get a nice pretext? Let's kill this one and take the region for the Archon. Uh, let's yell that to Jacobus. For the Archon, Beric snaps to a salute and readies himself for, for the fight. Yes, we will honor Ash and his family with our conquest in his name. Prepare yourselves for the void, miscreants. Pitiful zealots, the Archon doesn't value your lives any more than I do, so die by my hand and spare yourself the disappointment. She lunges to attack. All right. Let's go then. Heads up, we have company. I'll take care of it. Raven Ash protects. Ugh, that's nothing. Await my signal. Will do. Take that. At once. This weapon is entirely worthless. On it. As you command. As you come out.
instead. Take her. My blood spills. Take that. Smash to pieces. Get back here. <laughs> Take that! As you command. and grunts and squints up at you through a haze of pain. I'm not telling you anything. My secrets, they come with me to the grave. We could always find more creative ways of extracting information. Now that we've thrown a spear into their scavenging plans, we can afford to take our time. Just kill me and be done with it. She levels her gaze with you. We both know I won't bow to torture. You'd only be wasting your time. Fingers and bloody mark the Archon Shadows. He was my new favorite. Now let's do it. I'm done with this good Jedi thing. Ugh! As you bend her fingers at a cruel angle, Elia grits her teeth and grunts through the pain. Through her pride, you can plainly recognize agony and hatred reflected in her eyes. You northern shits are all the same. Does stepping on the neck of the fallen make you feel justified? Is this what gets you off on war? I wouldn't call it a requirement, you filthy sudden mud, but it helps. Fine, fine. I've suffered enough for my country that I deserve a moment's respite before my eternal fucking slumber. She glares at you and shakes her head. What do you want to know? Don't expect me to hold these wounds closed. You are borrowed time. What do you know about Ash's daughter, Amelia? You're looking for an artifact, right? How do you get to the local spire? How do I get to this? We're looking for an artifact, right? I and we've been searching for some time. She glances around with evident exhaustion. A fool's errand, perhaps. Suppose I'll never know for sure. We we were hunting for the remains of Regent Aspison. Before the war, he carried the steadfast insignia, a cloak pin that was to pass down the line of first regents. Her eyes twinkle as she says the name, remembering herself. Elia grimaces and looks at you with loathing. What is the step that I What did you learn about the region? We were looking for the body of the first region, Aspison, who was presumed dead during the war. Instead, we found records of his past movements. The final word on the matter is that he journeyed to the breach in the old walls and never returned. She frowns to herself. Not sure what he was doing in there, unless he wanted to unleash the bane against the disfavored somehow. Dumb shit. We sent a small team led by one of our best, Gregus, to investigate. Like, as not the steadfast insignia is there in the breach. She, spat, she spits. May you never find it. Okay, great. Now we know. Now we know how to get there. Who? The captain coughs into her sleeve and shakes her head. I'm not in the business of breaking up families. That's Kairos' domain. Outside of Rust Canyons and Iron Hearth, 
and on the only ironclads I know of are Duskwatch. She focuses her bleary eyes onto you. But you have taken care of them already, wouldn't you? Bastard. What is the step out of this insignia? It's a cloak pin worn by the first region, supposed to help you stand tall against against she lurches in pain a cuss of a glow phlegm. Shit. Stand tall against shitty odds. I don't know if it works, but I can think of any other shitter than the wind wall around the sentinel stand. How did a breach form in the old walls? She attempts a meager shrug. We've been a little preoccupied with you northern fuckers to waste our time patrolling the length of the country, so you'll excuse me if I'm shady on the details. My best guess, either the Eating of Storms blasted a hole in the ancient stone, or something blasted its way out. Does either option help you sleep better at night? I thought not. How do I get to the local spire? There's no direct road, but the breach in the old wall is set to lead to the ocean spire floor. If you're dead set on marking the journey, you'll come across worse foes than the Unbroken. Who leads the Unbroken? Matthias was our captain during the war, but in stalwart to come, I only see him take on a higher authority. She sinks and looks up at the darkened sky. Looks like those brighter days aren't for the likes of me. Last I heard, he was rounding up men in Trapper's Junction. But that was some time ago. He was due to leave by now. He was looking for the Dauntless, the Sword of Unbroken Champions. He thought that could rally us, give us hope. She laughs bitterly. You have anything else you want to tell me? I have nothing more to say. You have bled me dry. She hesitates and forces herself to focus back on you. Are you going to leave me be or what? Kill merciful. Look at at the skies, Elia. I think the storm is clearing. Broken gain major wrath. Let Mark gain average wrath. You're better to me as a prisoner than a corpse. Let's keep her prisoner. Hmm. Elia sur surveys her surroundings, a wasteland scrap. Unfortunately, I have no intention of going quietly or furthering your sick goals, so fuck off. Snatching up a shard of, rush of rusted iron, Elia lashes out, taking several desperate and capable swipes at, at you. She doesn't stop this frenzied, relentless assault until you drive a blade through her chest and pin her corpse to the ground of her homeland. So, <coughs> so dies the daughter of fallen stalwart, Jacob is not. Good work, Gravebinder. I'll recruit with Theodore and secure rust cannons for the, uh, for the disfavor. Wonderful. Let's see what she has. Warp. How virgin. It is definitely better thorns. Critical hit. Give damage back. And unbroken armor. Bronze. Bronze. Both heavy. Also quite nice. This. It's map found in the core of charts, controls, nose, mama. Okay. Huh. Unfortunately, we can't equip that. Let's see what is around here. This was the perfect place for an ambush. There's a lot of prisoners. Alright. So, I guess we're off to a wall then. And hopefully to the spire next. Or Trapper's Junction. Let's just check quest lock. Let's see. Mm, well, this is the main quest. This is to travel to here. Bring the enemy. Go to Trapper's Junction to search for Matthias. Seeds of power. That is claim the remaining spires and tears. Okay, well, in that case. Third forces were either un unqualified or too undermanned to take Dusk Watch by force, demonstrating Ash's misappropriation of soldiers even in his home territory. 
So that's evidence against him that he isn't properly supplied. Hm. I don't really agree with that. Let's go to the old wall. Nah, let's continue against the disfavored for now. Maybe this new sword will help us. Let's end the unbroken. So they can't cause any more troubles. I think that's the most rational course of action. So it's been a few days since I've done any real recording on this series. Let me know if what you what thoughts you guys have on it are until now. Anyways, let's get back to it. You spot a soldier lying in a slump. Through the mud and blood caked on his tattered garb, you can make out the colors and insignia of the unbroken. He fights through pain with each of his ragged breaths as you approach. He shifts his head slightly towards you, but does not appear to have the strength to look up. The only ones traveling this way could be those who brought down Duskwat. If that's you, then I'll die with a curse on my lips. So this is it then. Just kill me quickly. I'm in no state to continue on like this. His forced smile sends a trickle of blood out the side of his mouth. Huh. What happened here? A battle from the looks of it. He turns into the wind and sniffs. Not a terrible impressive one, but a bloody one. He raises his head and takes a look at you while wincing. The Scarlet Chorus, they've been driving us across this wasteland, pressing their attack at every turn. Looks like they finally got us cornered in this pass. I was part of the first line of defense when my comrades got wiped out, the Chorus went on through. I thought myself lucky they didn't check for survivors. After a few hours, I started to change my mind. His wry smile quickly turned into a wince of pain. I have a pressing question. He coughs up a glob of blood and looks at it with bewilderment, bemusement. I don't have much time to regale you with tales of stalwart history, I'm afraid. I'd rather spend these last moments remembering the true color of the sky. He focuses up at the doily wall of storm clouds overhead. Uh, where is Matthias? Matthias, if he lives, he's with the rest of my countrymen. He makes a feeble gesture somewhere off in the distance. Uh, I suppose I'll just leave you be then. The man burst into a coughing fit, and an ugly torrent of blood spurts from his mouth. His gasping for air turns into gurgling as he finally slumps over and stops moving entirely. No! Oh. Ah, land tree is level up at highest level. Adapt. Wonderful. Give him some more vitality because it does give control life and he is a healer. Okay. So Arcane Shield. And after that gifts of moments. Land just goes for or should we take gifted healer part two? No, he needs this. We can be a bit more tanky. We don't want to lose him in the early battle. Loot, loot, loot. Aha. Uh -huh. Here we have some. Follow effects. quietly. Paw, soft, soft, soft. Lot, but we should be able to deal with them. Horde, Blood Chander, Horde, Horde, Blood Chander. Let's jump this guy and I'll jump from the Blood Chander. He will rush in and just attack straight forward. Landry will, Landry will buff everyone. <laughs>
Another battle. Uh, <laughs> bad. Making friends. Take that. I'll do it for the north. <laughs> On it. Consider it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I got it. I can't. I got it. Yeah, still experience, nonetheless. Let's go down here. You see what I see? On the lookout. This battle might be a little bit more difficult. That's first target. On it. So the guys over here. Let's see whatever they have to say. Guarding the entrance to a makeshift encampment, an unbroken warrior stands sentry with thick lines of exhaustion under her eyes. Streaks of sand and rust cover her armor, her worn armor and weathered skin. Who treads on unbroken lands? The guard's voice trembles with fatigue. Everyone who comes to Trapper's Junction these days is involved in the war somehow. State your intentions, and I'm not killing you, ju you just to be safe. I'm not above killing you just to be safe. The soldier glares at, at you with intensity and purpose. I'm looking for Matthias. Is he, he's your leader, is he not? That's him, all right. She squints at you skeptically, then calls over her shoulders. Captain! We've got a visitor. Looks like trouble. Let's check this guy out then. Maybe we can make a small alliance against Scarlet. The unbroken fighter looks pale and worn. His demeanor has begun to show the horrors he's witnessed, but he wears every scar and concerned twitch with a veteran's dignity. Matthias, captain of these troops, here in Trapper's Junction, and to the whole of the unbroken. He looks out you up and down, nodding as some truth comes together in his mind. Even this far south, we hear of Tunan's agents who broke the siege at the Mendrian's well. If you've come to make history repeat itself, then allow me to correct you. The Unbroken will not lie down as easily as the Mendrian guard. He draws his weapon slowly. So you're the wretch who costs us so much trouble in the stalwart campaign. I've been looking forward to this day. He flinches at the sight of Barry. That thing talks? Kyrus's minions have not weathered the invasions well, have they? 
I don't suppose you are interested in hearing about the benefits of Curus's peace. What's your status here? Ash wants me to end the Edict of Swords. Maybe we can help each other. And I suppose Ash wants to set up a disfavored garrison at Sentinel Stand as well. Matthias clenches his jaw. I can't allow that. Our goals only align until the moment that, that Stratus Herodin dies. Beyond that, we have nothing in common. I don't suppose you're interested in hearing about the benefits of Curus's peace. We already refused Curus's empty terms when your misguided invasion began. Let's neither of us pretend that Graven Ash has grown more forgiving in the last year, or that anything but enslavement and mass graves awaits us in Curus's dominion. He runs a hand through his sweaty hair. I won't delude myself into thinking that both of us are getting out of Trapper's Junction alive. What's your status here? You expect me to offer up some advantage for you to exploit? I think not, Faithfinder. There's a detachment of Scarlet Corps nearby, and none of us is wearing the, uh, the voices of Nerat's sigil. That should tell you plenty about our current status. If you expect to learn anything about our strength and tactics, then feel free to draw iron. We don't cooperate with Curious pet minions, not the Chorus and not you. So we have left this to attack. If you won't cooperate, then you're standing in my way. Time to add your bones to the storm. Goodbye, Matthias. With what strength we have, let's gut this slave of Curious's. For stalwart, Matthias swings his weapon in the air to rally the unbroken around him. Sim Feel sorry for him. I'll do it for the north. Get back here. All right, two more. Okay, now I don't feel so sorry. This weapon is entirely worthless. Still work proof. Shit, guy. Raven Ash, take that. Uh. 
That. Right. Strong strength. Good. Smash to pieces. Sever. Lots of two headed weapons. This might be good for us. Yes, indeed. Plus three accuracy. Right. On it. And then let's camp here. Supplies waiting for us. Do you have eyes on this? I have eyes on it. On it. Slow and steady. I have no idea who Irentis is. But we're about to find out. Let's do another battle then. I got it. Take care of it. Consider it done.
to Beric. Let's move him up back way. Controlled emotions. Determines the character's ability to draw and control spells. Let's give him more might. More damage. Let's do the defender's chart. No can do. Pay attention, kid. As you command. Leave the strongest to me. From Beast Woman. Fast, fast, fast. Hmm. No. Ah, he's down again. Yeah, I need to be more careful with him. For kills in shadow. I will aid you. Notes are hastily scribbled and show a teeniest grip of, on literacy. They describe the relentless conscription efforts of a scholar chorus gang as they chased the unbroken across the blade grave. The notes include many references to Dauntless, a relic sword of the unbroken, and many ill fated attempts to find the blade. There are some crude drawings that resemble a map of the blade grave with a sword drawn on the eastern section of the old walls. Interesting. Right. Can't do that. What the hell? That's a little. Okay. Oh. I'll stay downwind of our enemies. I will aid you. Got it. That's how it's done. Huh. 
Get back here! Scurry. Run from Beast Woman. Fast, fast, fast. No! Huh. Have a look here. On it. I'm Iron Great Sword. An exhausted mess. Can we pause for a few hours of medicated bliss? Let's level up our main character then. So what will help us with bows? Or might would help? Dodge instead of parry. What is our dodge skill? Five. Sixty-five. Or sixty-five parry. Use dodge instead of parry for melee attack. Why would we do that when we have more parry? Doesn't make any sense. Separate our bow mastery. No need for that. Escape adds a brooding effect to the thrust ability. Thrust now also increases movement speed and breaks immune to engagement. But I don't have ability thrust, so that makes no sense. I guess thrust is about throwing stuff. Okay. Shot. No, I want bow mastering. I want to do more damage. Run through. Okay, and then all we have left On is it. to score the chorus. Can't do that. Well, of course, whatever is up here. Spotted something with sharp eyes. Stepping lightly. So wait, leap to the aid of an ally taunting enemy nearby. Won't ha happen. <laughs> Consider it done. Weapon is entirely worthless. Okay, what we can do. Ah! 
unstoppable! <laughs> Will do. Shall we? As you come out. Consider it done. I will Come break you! My iron! This weapon is entirely <laughs> worth it! I'll take care of it. Take that! My armor is dented. Let me repair it. Right. It sends a battle. Good our tank took all the focus. Well, because our main damage dealer, Mouthless, he has this debuff still. This area in which we're fighting. I believe we need to rest, and I also believe we have run out of time for this episode. So, see you guys next time when we will take over the last of the Scarlet in Trapper's Junction. You guys enjoy? Whack. <laughs>